okay this was the portion which is uh, left from unit 1 so i'll start with international financial reporting standards ifrs what exactly is ifrs if you see then literally this means the international accounting standards which are being followed and what is the need for ifrs when we already have accounting standards in india it is basically to harmonize the accounting practices all over the world so it is a global framework for how public companies prepare and disclose their financial statements so every country is having its own accounting practices but now no longer are we sitting in a closed world we are not a closed economy uh, the economies world around have opened you have multinational corporations which are incorporated started in one country but have expanded their business in other countries also they are also paying their tax liabilities in different countries so there is a need to harmonize the accounting practices of all the countries and for that purpose the international accounting standard board came up with the ifrs or international financial reporting standards when i talk about ifrs and convergence with accounting standards in india in india icai has its own accounting standard board which is responsible for formulation and implementation of accounting standards in the indian scenario okay now these accounting standards have been prepared keeping in mind the specific conditions of our economy the working of our economy okay while international reporting standards are applicable worldwide so by convergence i mean harmonizing bringing both the standards at a proper level okay so that there is no problem in adoption of ifrs in india also so both the standards should be converged should be unionized and this can be done either by adopting ifrs in full or in part okay so this is the convergence process which is followed to converge the local accounting standards with ifrs what are the benefits of converge uh, convergence first benefit is for the economy if you are having standards if you are having accounting practices which are in uh, which are being in uh, conformity to the best international practices that increases the reputation of the economy and will lead to more inflow of capital in the economy how is it beneficial to investors again investors no are not limited to domestic markets they might want to invest in foreign markets also so if the same set of standards are followed world over it makes it easier for the investors to understand them study them and derive meaning from the financial statements how is it beneficial to the industry again it will lead to inflow of foreign capital lower the cost for the domestic industry and bring more and more investors to the industry more transparency because everyone is aware how the financial statements should be prepared okay and there is no biasness in that a proper format proper principles are being followed and hence it the working of the company the presentation of the finances becomes more transparent last is cost saving now till 
the international financial standards are adopted world over till that point many companies multinational companies uh, they there was a need to prepare financial statements separately matlab agar say for example let's take wipro wipro is an indian company it is a multinational because it has its business spread over uh, the world now say wipro हेड ऑफिस के लिए या डोमेस्टिक इकोनॉमी के लिए इंडियन अपने ऑपरेशंस के लिए अलग अकाउंट्स प्रिपेयर करेगा और विप्रो जो अमेरिकन ऑपरेशंस है उसके लिए अलग अकाउंट्स प्रिपेयर करे सो दैट इन्वॉल्व अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क टाइम एफर्ट यू नीड दैट मच स्टाफ ओके हु इज एक्सपर्ट इन प्रिपेयरिंग टू सेट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट विद सेपरेट स्टैंडर्ड so this is involving a lot of cost if there is convergence with ifrs then the work becomes easier and lowers the cost of operation next is uh, difficulties of convergence with ifrs so whenever a change comes about there are challenges with that so other than accounting standards india also has many rules and regulations to implement them everything needs to be updated then the softwares we are using to make all the accounting entries to prepare the financial statements they need to be updated and the staff needs to be trained so these are some of the challenges of convergence with ifrs this is the timeline which has been given by the government for adoption of ifrs in phases from 2015 1st april onward okay so ifrs under ifrs this is what needs to be covered is there any question in this please ask Uh, there have been some changes in the pdf i shared i'll share the updated pdf with you okay only this part has been edited a bit so i'll upload the updated pdf on the classroom okay yes this is the completion of unit 1 and up to this point is what we cover in the first internal assessment so i hope there is no question if there is any question please ask else we will move forward okay so now we start with the accounting process practically this starts with the process of recording of accounting transactions give me a second i'll connect okay class so we now start with the application of accounting process what are the steps in the accounting cycle so as i told you the first and the first step mane unit 2 yes this is the starting of unit 2 okay so in the accounting cycle the first step which we follow is 
Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, will you allow me to rejoin because I'm not able to see your screen? You're not able to see the screen. What about others? Is the screen visible? Yes, ma'am, visible. Yes, ma'am. Visible. Yes, Vikas. You can rejoin. Okay. So the first step in the accounting cycle is to record the economic transactions in a proper format. So that is done in the journal. Okay. And the process of recording the transaction is known as journalizing. Post that we post the entries from the journal into specific accounts. जो हमने definition करी थी accounting की recording, classifying, summarizing. तो उसके जो actual steps होते हैं that make up the accounting cycle. So post journalizing we post the entries into a ledger. So instead of uh, टर्म बुक और नोटिंग डाउन दी एंट्रीज now most of the offices are not going for physical recording of entry everything is being done online through softwares so tally or acl these are softwares which are being used in the companies to actually prepare the financial statements but pehle aapko basics clear hone chahiye aur base hamara banta hi through this process we make the base and then this is applied to the softwares so in your syllabus softwares nahi use kar rahe hum hum jo bhi entries kar rahe hain jo bhi accounting process kar rahe hain wo physically on paper kar rahe hain okay so after you record the entries this is the step of recording the entries you classify them into separate accounts into specific accounts that is known as posting of entries and the book in which it is done is known as ledger okay now after you have classified the entries you have prepared the ledger next step is summarizing summarizing and presentation of the financial of the accounting figures you have so summarizing is done through a trial balance yahan par aap pehli baar accounting jo bhi aapne record maintain kara uski mathematical accuracy test kar lete ho okay so if there has been any mistakes in in the previous steps you get to know from the trial balance if the debit and credit balance of the accounts does not match okay in the presentation part summarizing mein hi aap presentation karte ho financial statements ki that is done through final account under final accounts there are three steps you first prepare the trading account then the profit and loss account and then we prepare the balance sheet okay so again this final accounts uh, we will be doing practically also and very important one question of 15 marks is there from final accounts every year in your main exam okay so once you have summarized presented your financial statements 
the next step is deriving meaning out of the financial figures of the mathematical figures that have been presented in the financial statement that is known as analyzing analyzing interpretation of the financial statements all this is uh, done through a number of techniques that are used okay and what are these are uh, techniques or tools used to, to analyze the financial statement some of them are cash flow statement your fund flow statement funds flow statement then you have ratio analysis okay these are the main tools that are used to prepare the financial to derive the meaning from the financial statements in your syllabus we will be doing cash flow statement and ratio analysis in detail okay so for the time being just understand these are the various steps in the accounting cycle which are followed so as to make the financial statements worth while for the different users okay so in unit 2 we start with the step of recording the transactions we move to classification summarizing quickly because our focus will be on final accounts so paper mein question aata hai wo final accounts aata hai very rarely do you get a question on recording that is preparation of journal uh, post writing down the journal entries otherwise what has been the trend over the years is that you get a full fledged question on final accounts but to move to final accounts the previous three steps need to be clear so we start with journal entries journalizing or recording of transactions okay so as i said we start with the process of journalizing before that i'll uh, take up two terms though i have explained them earlier also but for the ones who entered in late or ones who are not clear with there are two terms in accounts which we use specifically with journal entries and thereafter where the where we are preparing accounts then also these terms are used debit and credit so i told earlier also per se these terms do not have any meaning debit is the left hand side of the account and credit is the right hand side of the account so say aap capital account prepare kar rahe ho so debit side dr debit side is the left hand side of this account the format on the left hand side and the right hand side is the same we'll do the format properly when we do the preparation of ledger and cr credit is the right hand side of the account okay so with uh, posting of entries or say starting with journalizing debit and credit as a term is used and there are different rules which are followed to identify which account needs to be debited and which account needs to be credited the most widely used rule is that we classify the accounts accounts kya hai jo bhi abhi aapne debtor creditor expenses incomes jo bhi aapne accounting equation mein left hand side aur right hand side pe entries kari thi un sab ke alag alag accounts prepare hote hain jahan pe 
in a particular account all the transactions related to that account are classified okay to har account har term jo aap use kar rahe ho uske liye aap account prepare kar rahe ho usme hum classify karte hain accounts ko और फिर आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं कि कौन से अकाउंट को डेबिट करना चाहिए कौन से को क्रेडिट करना चाहिए बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ अ पीरियड विच कैन बी वन मंथ और वन फाइनेंशियल ईयर द बैलेंसेस ऑन द डेबिट साइड शुड बी इक्वल टू द बैलेंस ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड ओके देन अगेन जब मैं बैलेंसेस बोलती हूँ तो उसमें एडजस्टमेंट्स करते हैं वो कैसे करते हैं वो सब हम करेंगे बट आपको इक्वालिटी मेंटेन करनी होती है सो दैट वी आर एबल टू प्रूव द अकाउंटिंग इक्वेशन ओके दैट इज द सम टोटल ऑफ कैपिटल प्लस लाइबिलिटीज एट द एंड ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल ईयर should be equal to the assets which the business holds so iske liye har step pe you need to be very clear with the rules to be followed okay so there are two methods of classification of accounts one is the traditional method of classification one is the modern method of classification both the methods have their own set of rules but both the methods will give you the same result okay so apni convenience ke hisab se aap dono mein se koi bhi method use karke journal entries ko record kar sakte ho so i'll start with the traditional method i'll give you an insight into the traditional method today we'll discuss the theory part and tomorrow we'll apply it to pass the journal entries okay so we start with the traditional classification of accounts so under the traditional classification there are three types of accounts real account we will start with personal first okay personal account then real account and then you have the nominal account okay so these are the three types of classification three types of accounts as per traditional classification now let's understand their meaning so first is the personal account personal account literal meaning name of a person okay name of a person mein ram sham sita geeta jo bhi log business ke sath transact kar rahe hain उन सब का अकाउंट कोई एक स्पेसिफिक डेटर है कोई क्रेडिटर है उन सब का अकाउंट कहाँ पे जाएगा पर्सनल अकाउंट के अंडर ओके तो इन नेम ऑफ अ पर्सन ओके नाउ दे आर आल्सो रेप्रेजेंटेटिव अकाउंट्स अंडर पर्सनल अकाउंट रेप्रेजेंटेटिव अकाउंट्स का मतलब क्या होता है एक तो क्लियर है अकाउंट्स जो किसी पर्सन के नेम पे है रिप्रेजेंटेटिव होते हैं जो भी आपके बैंक अकाउंट्स होते हैं ओके बैंक अकाउंट हमेशा एक पर्सन के नेम पे होता है तो बैंक अकाउंट इज आल्सो अ पर्सनल अकाउंट देन ऑल द अक्रूड आई नॉट यू सी टर्म अक्रूड है आउटस्टैंडिंग एक्सपेंसिस prepaid expenses accrued income and income received in advance these accounts 
also come under personal account तो पर्सन के नेम पे डेटर क्रेडिटर जो भी थर्ड पार्टी से आप डील कर रहे हो वो आपका पर्सनल अकाउंट में आएगा बाकी ऐसे करके बैंक अकाउंट है कैपिटल अकाउंट है और आउटस्टैंडिंग प्रीपेड एक्सपेंस एक्रूड इनकम इनकम रिसीव्ड इन एडवांस दे आर आल्सो कमिंग अंडर दी पर्सनल अकाउंट ओके नाउ पोस्ट दैट वी हैव दी सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ अकाउंट which is a real account real account is for all the assets in the business okay so land furniture plant machinery un sab ke liye jo account prepare hota hai usko real account bolte hain cash cash will be a real account and last category of accounts is nominal account I'll write down the examples here: plant, machinery, cash, furniture. All these accounts will come under real accounts. And then you have the nominal accounts. Nominal accounts are for all the incomes received and all the expenses paid. Which are relevant to that particular financial year. So, आपके transportation expense, the printing का expense है, electricity, then your transportation expense, postage expense, all this will come under the nominal account. Okay. so these are the three types of accounts that are prepared under the traditional classification now what rule do we follow for traditional classification yes any commerce student would want to tell me the rules Yes, Suraj. Ma'am, I have a question regarding this traditional account. Yes, let me tell you. Yeah, ma'am, this uh, traditional account is based on the case basis or accrual basis. Accrual, sorry, accounting accrual basis पे है जो हम कर रहे हैं. Cash basis पे नहीं है accounting accrual basis पे है. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, yeah. yes, Aryan. Ma'am, the rules are, ma'am, the debit what comes in, credit what goes out. For which account? Ah, uh, ma'am, real account. Yes, what comes in, and credit what goes out. Okay, then. And ma'am, uh, ah, hmm. for nominal, ma'am, all the expenses and losses have to debit, and incomes and gain have to be credited. Yes, expenses and losses are debited, and incomes and gains are credited. Okay. Okay, Aryan, thank you. Tanish, you can tell us about the personal account. Ma'am, debit the receiver and credit the giver. Yes, debit the receiver, credit the giver. okay so please have a look at these rules which we will be following for passing the journal entries sabse pehle personal account hai personal account mein jo receive kar rahe hain jis account mein se ram is giving loan to sham so ram is the giver sham is the receiver of this loan so we debit the receiver credit the giver then real account real account mein rule is debit what comes in credit what goes out so i am purchasing machine with cash machine is coming in the business cash is going out of the business 
तो आई विल डेबिट मशीनरी अकाउंट क्रेडिट कैश अकाउंट ऐसे करके हम एक एक एंट्री को ब्रेक करेंगे टू आइडेंटिफाई दी अकाउंट एंड वॉट रूल शुड बी अप्लाई फॉर जस्ट लेट मी रिपीट देन आई आंसर यू क्वेश्चन फॉर नॉमिनल अकाउंट जो भी खर्चा हो रहा है जो भी लॉस हो रहा है बिजनेस में उसको हम डेबिट करते हैं ऑल इनकम्स एंड गेन्स आर क्रेडिटेड ओके यस विकास नाउ आज दी क्वेश्चन मैम जब हम बैंक से देखते हैं तो क्रेडिट मनी बेटा आपका वॉइस ब्रेक हो रही है नेटवर्क में कुछ इश्यू है मैम मैम यू कैन टाइप योर क्वेश्चन ओके ओके बाय दैट टाइम एनी अदर क्वेश्चन इन दिस दीज आर दी रूल्स यू नीड टू मेमोराइज देम एंड व्हेन टुमारो वी स्टार्ट with the 